morning everybody I would say I just woke up but I actually woke up at like 5 30 this morning um, to take Matt to work pretty early I was looking for some new books to read because I just finished some more books I finished this book and I read it yesterday um, it's the for the love book by Jen Hatmaker it's really good I really enjoyed it it's um, for the love fighting for grace in a world of impossible standards I need to go to the library today I'll probably go for a walk because it's actually like 70 degrees I'm looking forward to just relaxing today so I'm gonna take you guys with me and we're gonna hang out today I need to drop off some things they're having like a churchwide garage sale for a mission trip that they're doing down to Houston well this morning oh my gosh please be patient with me the little tripod thing that I had um, it accidentally broke because a little screw thing was plastic and it broke but this morning I had Matt have I had Matt help me carry some kitchen items down out to our car so that I could take it to the garage sale later but they were just really heavy and we got down to the, like the stairwell like the bottom of the stairs and the box broke glass bowls pots and pans I would have thought somebody like threw their dishwasher down the stairs and all of the stuff came out like that's literally what it sounded like and granted y'all it was six o'clock in the morning slow motion like we couldn't catch any of the items part of me was like super embarrassed but at that point i'm like what are you gonna do <laughs> i feel so bad for my neighbors but sorry i just got a new app actually so it's called reading list got it to keep track of the books that i'm reading because i want to keep track of like how fast i'm reading them and how many i'm reading to be able to write down books that i want to read good place to kind of jot that down and keep it all organized i've been reading a lot of books and i love how it's just a great way for me to feel more at peace like i'm not looking at my phone i'm not like anxiously looking over Instagram or Twitter or Pinterest like I actually deleted Facebook and Pinterest from my phone because I don't want to be tempted to just look at those things all the time so the library doesn't open till 10 it's only 8 o'clock right now so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get ready and go for a run because it is so nice outside it's only like 63 degrees and the winds supposed to pick up later so I'm gonna go ahead and run now come back and eat breakfast then head over to the library. Holy cow, you guys. Running like the first half of the run was like okay, you know? Coming back, oh my gosh. The wind was like dead on, fighting like an ice monster or something. Before I got over here, my stomach started growling and I was like, no! So I came and wanted to run real fast, real fast, and then I'm gonna go back and eat some breakfast. I went back, ate some breakfast, and then took some items to that garage sale. Went across town to one of the libraries because some of the books that I wanted to read were not at this library, but they were at the library across town. So it's really cool because Waco has four different libraries. Um, and like on the catalog, you can see which library that book is located at and you can return it to any of them so you don't have to drive across town back to to, to take that one book back. Actually, I have like a library day where I just run around to the different libraries that I want to pick up books from so I'm going to show you guys which books that I got. First one I got is called 12 Ways Your Phone is Changing You by Tony... Ranky, I think is how you pronounce it, but I just thought that was really interesting. I'm like, I'm always wanting to learn more about like social media and how my phone is affecting me. This book by Annie Downs, which is Looking for Lovely, it says Collecting the Moments That Matter. Next book I got is by Lara Casey and it's called Make It Happen. It says Surrender Your Fear, Take the Leap, Live on Purpose, which I'm really excited to read this book because I've heard a lot of good things about it. Um, I've been following Page Chaser on Instagram and they post a lot of good books and so that's where I've been getting most of my book ideas from. Second to last book I got is called 22 and it kind of caught my eye because it's like oh I'm 22 I want to read that and it says letters to a young woman searching for meaning it's by Allison 
Trowbridge. Trowbridge. Last book I actually picked up, I'll probably read it, but it's actually, I picked it up from Matt. So it's called Your Best Year Ever, and it's by Michael Hyatt. Um, and he has a book or two from Michael Hyatt already, but I know that he's really into learning about leadership and goal setting and business plans and things like that. So I thought he would really like this book. So that is my library haul for this week. Um, but I'm going to head back home and we will continue on with this great chill day. So some days I actually help our friend Jeffrey work on different websites. So I'm going to make some lunch real quick and then start working on... A website for a little bit and then Matt will not be home until like 7 o'clock tonight so I'm gonna hanker down get this website going oh my gosh you guys look at these amazing supplements supplements look at these amazing succulents Correct. they're huge this one is literally massive it was like this big when I got it these are actually from our wedding and I need to like rem like move them because they're like crowding each other. I need to like move them around. My little bebe succulents. Oh, they're so cute. But I'm finishing up this vlog and gonna get it posted for Wednesday. But I hope you guys enjoy these day in the life vlogs. If you'd like to see more day in the life videos, don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye. Out. Was that Matt? Peace out. Peace out.